Hey guys, Alucard here, also known as an esports legend at asymmetrical games that no one plays. And today's video explains why this is probably the worst balancing patch since Danny was first released on TCM. While I'm sure victims are currently overjoyed by the grandpa nerf and all their supposed fixes, they've probably already started to notice an inexplicable rise in their queue times. It's almost as if really bad balancing that alienates one side has a direct connection to wildly increasing the queue time for the other side. I was able to test a lot of these changes with some others, including the secret surprise abandoned mill map at night that's going to be loads of fun with sawdust in your face, and I'll be going over the most important parts of this stupid update in the video. The first stupid change of this update is the grandpa quote rework, where they didn't actually rework anything. All they did was make it so that the actual useful perks grandpa has, such as exterior alarms, are only available at higher levels, which are nearly impossible to achieve against actual competent victims with a pulse. Unless of course you're already winning the game. And you can see this in an elegant all caps font underneath each grandpa perk, in which it tells you what level they are. Ironically, even though they say they want Grandpa to be utilized more in each match, it's going to be utilized even less, and that's because we have no fucking time to feed Grandpa in the constant rush meta that has still yet to really be addressed. The thing about feeding grandpa and why people only take one grandpa perk is because 50% of the perks suck ass. A suggestion that I've had to help combat this problem is to allow grandpa to have an alternate way to be fed without any animation time. In other words, to give family a way to store the blood instantly, however grandpa won't be fed from that blood until about 40 seconds or so later, and victims could interrupt that process. The thing about gun with the grandpa change is that they aren't solving the actual core issue with it, and those issues are that family simply doesn't have time to fucking feed grandpa in a real match. Most of the perks aren't even worth taking the risk for it, and because of the long animation to feed him, you're almost always at a disadvantage when you do so. Because Gun's design team sits there arguing with each other for about two months to make any simple change, unfortunately this will probably never make it to the game. The second stupid change in the patch is quote, fixing victim endurance. And by fixing it, they actually made it insanely overpowered. In other words, you barely have to manage your stamina now if you have 40 or more endurance, because it regenerates so fucking fast. Add perks like Jumpstart to the mix, it becomes even more insane and laughable how broken it is. The biggest concerns in buffing a stat like endurance for victims is that it affects family. And the way it affects family is that it affects the meta even more because shitty characters like Nancy are already bad and this just makes them even more unviable. Because family wasn't really buffed at all, besides shitty slippery being given to sissy, which doesn't really change much, this kind of change for victim just reinforces an already stale but feels like necessary meta for family if they want to win the game. And this is part of the problem and why family feels so boring, because we're forced to use the same meta perks if we want to win since you have dumb shit like insulated that hasn't been changed since the game's launch, and new shit like spring cleaning which is just as useless, and probably created by Matt Jacha. While I agree that Victim definitely needs more reasons to invest stat points into other things than proficiency and toughness, this was definitely not the way to go about it, especially without buffing some things for family's weakest members, or changing any of the useless perks they have. The final very stupid change of the patch is their quote fixed to the proficiency stat affecting the car battery. One of the first and most obvious reasons this is a stupid change is because you already invest in proficiency in a lot of victims because it's such a good stat. Now you encourage victims to invest in the same stat they've already focused on the past year even more because now they get an extra reward where they do the battery nearly twice as fast. On top of that, because perks like Choose Fight haven't been changed at all, it's actually possible for a victim to solo stun you with Grapple and Choose Fight and be able to turn off the battery all by themselves.
And because of this, it promotes camping objectives even more. Because the only way you can possibly stop this from happening is by sitting there right on the battery, ready to swing the second you get out of your stun. These kind of quote fixes are so bad for the game because they're completely guilty of reinforcing an old, stale, necessary meta for family. And also reinforcing a boring camping playstyle that you have to do if you want to even have a chance of winning. My suggestion to counter this is that you don't simply quote fix one side. You need to also address how that's going to affect the other side, such as family. If you don't, then the queue times for victim are going to fucking skyrocket. I defaulted to sissy. What the? <laughs> Such a weird default. Well, that's weird. The lobby's not full instantly. I wonder if that has to do with the latest patch. Don't taunt them. They've been in here for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, how long you guys been waiting? To be honest, we've been waiting like a good 20 minutes. No way. <laughs> Sorry if our third was on right now. Was yeah, if our third was on right now, he's he's got a he, he takes like another half an hour. But yeah. <laughs> so do you guys would you guys trade these victim buffs for better Q times? Oh, the lobby. Oh, looks gone. like the lobby's gonna die. Oh, that sucks. See you later. <laughs> Waiting 20 minutes. Yeah, they really were waiting 20 minutes. It's a combination of Gun being so fucking slow at doing anything significant, as well as changing things for only one side, like Victim, while the other side family sits there eating shit for weeks to months on end. Unfortunately, Gun's design team just takes too long to do anything that's remotely significant. And then they seem to also overlook the most obvious blatant problems that will occur and take weeks to months on end to finally remedy them. As broken as a lot of victims claim that Hands is, his release did seem to significantly solve the lobby problem for a while, which suggests that when families at a decently high power level, the queue times are better for everybody. It would also be nice if the devs could do something about the perk Choose Fight, where it's very not fun to have people just grapple you and do objectives right in front of your face as family. I don't know if this is what the devs have intended for this game since launch, but it definitely didn't seem like that the way they marketed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and all that other stuff that other every other guy tells you to do. See you later.